All right, and here we are, everybody. So welcome back to Pokemon Infinite Fusion. Been a little bit, but we're going to go ahead and continue this now. Last time, I made some pretty horrifying abominations. Let me just adjust the volume slightly here. What button did what again? All right. This is going to take some getting used to because it does not really match the usual Pokemon layout. I had a Pika King. I had a Mr. Meleon. I had Pirogue. Left Carp. I don't know why I'm keeping this around, but hey, why not? And a Polypip. We ended the last episode on that. And I believe I had a Curlia Lava... Uh, Curlia and La Larvitar. I almost keep saying Lavatar. What's wrong with me? You sent me a bunny on Discord. The test of my phone was off. Well, thank you. It is definitely off because I got another spam call right before I was starting. Organize. There you are. Right, I had to have space in the party to fuse Poliwag and Hoppip. So we'll just take these guys out. But given the nature of this game, we're taking it easy. Oops. There we go. Let's take a look around Cerulean. Saw two Pokemon fused together in the wild by themselves. It's true, I swear it. But where do the DNA splicers come? I love coming to this park to relax in the sun with my Pokemon. The nice weather has put me in a good mood. Have this. Oh, nice. Sunny day. Oh, that's an oddish on the bench. Couldn't quite tell. It looks like it's hanging off the, uh, the side of it. Could go right to the rival battle. Assuming there is a rival battle. I just realized I didn't heal at the Pokemon Center. Crying out loud. I think I would have did that at the end of last episode. There you go. I could also uh, do a quick check to see how many trainers are in the gym. Pika King would be able to handle those. Aside from the park ground type and all that. Splash. I'm first up. Let's do it. Swimmer Lewis. Ugh. Shelby. <laughs> it's funny because that's a that's just a regular ass name. Well, they shouldn't have any special stats, so there we go. 17. Nice. Exy. Okay, Ekans and Horsey. It certainly is a horsey with an Ekans head, all right. You can say that much about it. Ooh. Warner Gun hurts a little bit, but whatever. At least now it'll make sense for Seedra to have Poison Point. That can't be! You better battle me before Misty. It's not like I have much of a choice, Missy. Star? Oh, okay. I wasn't sure what one that was going to be. I thought it was going to be, like, Starly or something. Uh, your park ground. It's probably going to kill me now. Fair enough. Okay. Ah, I sent in Mr. Meleon. Probably should have stayed away a little bit. Can't hurt me too bad. Okay, and they're confused now. Perfect. Uh oh. I can. I love how I can see the end of the effect there. Critical hit. All right, now please tell me that was your only mon. Okay, I maybe should have stayed out of here. I'm definitely not ready for Misty. Whatever abomination she's got. But that was just a quick warm up. There's a lot of trainers to the north, but if there is a rival battle, I should just lead with my strongest mons first. Like Pika King and Mr. Meleon. And then see if I can evolve, like, the Klepcarp and the Polypip. What level is Skip Bloom and Poliwhirl happen again? Yo, Asprey, you still struggling along that back there? You're doing great. I got a bunch of po strong and smart Pokemon. I can't read, I swear I can. Here, let me see what you caught. Oh boy. Red looks so angry. Okay. I was wondering where the Odo came from for a second, so probably poison flying. Super effective, okay. 
Oh, you're whirlwinding me, huh? Well, I'm just confusing you now. No big deal. All right, perfect. We're gonna start. We're starting with Pokemon today. We're just gonna take, keep it nice and comfy here. Mm, I don't need Charm, but Paralysis might help me out in a pinch. Although it's later T Wave, so it's got 90%. Squirtzar. He's immediately going to that. Uh. Use Peck. It's probably it's probably too high level for these things. I've got Filter as my ability, so I'm not worried about super effective hits, but Water will could still hit Pika King. I should just stay in as Mr. Meleon, honestly. Hang on. What's better for- better, my attack? Okay, special attack's way better. I think I'm better off just spamming Confusion, even if Fire is neutral on it. It looks really weird. Like, I understand that, like, the bulb is supposed to be a bubble, but it just looks like random, like, lines of spit coming out of it, which is just kind of weird to me. That. Oh, Super Potion. The Important Trainer Special. Okay, let's keep doing it. Mr. Meleon is so cursed. Putting, a. Uh, the previous form, like my ma uh, my mander, and the uh, the thumbnail certainly was a good idea, though. Just putting something cursed so people have to click on it. That's how you win. Manita, Mankey, and Ratata. I guess I'm fine to stay in. Just spam confusion. Oh, look at it. It's like. It looks like some kind of, like, weird creature you see in, like, every fantasy movie ever. Abra. Regular-ass Abra. Probably can't do anything. You know, there's probably a good chance just to get Klepkarp. Quick experience. YouTube keeps recommending that VOD. Excellent. The algorithm is working for me for once. That is how you win. You gotta play the numbers game. Teleport. Still can't do anything. I keep hitting the wrong buttons. Uh, yeah, just use Peck. It's probably gonna take two hits regardless. Left Carp, level eight. Hey, take it easy. You won already. Well, anyway, I'm off to Vermilion City to get my third badge. Smell you later. Okay, no chat about uh Bill or anything. Uh, the music's not playing. Well, stuff's happened sometimes. No problem. And when I beat Misty, I get access to another Wonder Trade ticket. I should probably check my Pokeballs before I head off north. Got two DNA splicers left. Okay, a couple things. Stop by the Pokemart, I did just get money. That glitch does seem to be common. How may I serve you? DNA Reverser. Wait. Oh, it creates an Inverse Fusion. Okay, I mean, for 600, I could always just have two, so I could look at the funny thing and then change it right back. Buy 10 for now, so we get the free Premier Ball. And give me a couple potions. Also, I noticed something funny outside here. Yeah, this character has a Electrode and Slowbro. Uh, it's funny because in Red and Blue, there's this trainer originally is standing here with a Slowbro, but in Yellow version only, for some reason, this trainer's here with, here with an Electrode. So I guess uh, it's a little nod to both of the Pokémon that can be there. Meow. There have been reports of criminal activity on Route 5. We're currently investigating the situation. You're not allowed to go through. Only way out of town. Through these people's house. I should also check the hotel. There should be side quests to do. Your current stats. How do I know all that? That's my secret. One more thing. As a gift for helping so many people. Oh, Flash. Okay. I should have got that at Pewter then. Help three more people, I'll give you something good. 
I love to see exotic Pokemon. I'll give you something if you can show me a Pokemon that's native to Johto. Um, does Polypip count? Woman who really wants to show her Pokemon. Can you show me such a Pokemon? No, it doesn't work. Can't be a fusion. Things are going just fine. Okay. Let me check these things. This is embarrassing, but I'm completely in love with this girl. I even wrote her a love letter, but I'm way too shy to give it to her in person. Would you mind help me out and hand it to her? Her name is Maud. She's a Pokemon breeder. She hangs out in one of the routes next to Cerulean. Hope you can find her. Okay, a boy in Cerulean City wants to bring a love letter to a breeder named Maud. One of the routes near Cerulean. All right, we're not going to read it. I'm feeling all right today. I, I did not sleep super great last night. Kind of just had a nap in the morning, but I'm good now. Hello there, do you have a fishing rod? I'm sorry, I've been afraid you cannot help me if you don't have a fishing rod. All right then. Assuming the rods are the same as vanilla Gen 1, probably Vermilion City old rod. Hang on, can I go over here? What's this? Not blocked? This way leads to Rock Tunnel. You better pack some supplies before you go in there. Can I catch anything? Yeah, it's blocked by cut immediately. How about you? This is the Nugget Bridge. Beat us five trainers to win a fabulous prize. Think you got what it takes? Probably. I don't know. Regular Weedles. Okay, I do not need Pika King up front for this. Immediately just went down in levels here. Metabat. Okay. I probably missed it. What was Polypip's, uh... Polypip's on, like, evolution level? What moves did Pirogue have? Scratch, Fake Out, Fury Cutter. What about you? Do you even have a water gun? You got Bubble and Fairy Wind. And, like, no stats. Yeah, let the Clef Carp get experience. Switch it out. 18, 25, 27 levels for Polypip. Okay. Astonish Hearts. All right, now switch in, Kartar. Is it just flying bug or flying poison? I suppose we'll see. I need a drink here. My throat's a little dry. Of course you got a crit with that. That's not going to help you. I love how the top of the Metapod face just looks blurry because of the way the lines look. Georis? Paris and Geodude? Probably. Alright, let's keep going here. Send in the Clef Carp. Ooh. Send in Kartar again. There's a lot of trainers on this route, assuming it keeps the same amount. Oh, great. Or to me, I'm like holding back a sneeze here awkwardly. I think it passed. Boosted experience on you, regular Kakuna. I'll let Polypip just do it. Polypip just don't look quite right to me. It looks a little freaky. Give it some bubbling. Yeah, you can only harden. You can't do anything. I don't remember where that Kakuna sprite comes from. I think it might be the Heart Gold Soul Silver one. Looks like a DS one. Whoa, good stuff. I keep forgetting the menu button for crying out loud. All right, um... Holly Pip will take a few levels. Pirogue needs level 20. I'm not even sure if I'm going to keep Pirogue. I just want to see the evolutions, right? Put Clef Carp up front here. 
I'm second, now it's serious. It is in fact not serious, it's Nugget Bridge. Unless it's maybe some kind of Kaizo. Last alley got the Abra. I don't think Abra can do anything here, can it? There's a chance just to let it get the full experience, why not? Not the Clef Carp. The Clef Carp is doing just okay. Don't worry about it. it. Provided us with a Moonstone, right? And I got an extra one for when this finally evolves. Ugh. <laughs> I don't want to pull that out of the ground. Send in Car Charge to use Confusion. really just hit me with Pursuit. I was looking at chat. I didn't realize what happened there. Well, whatever. It's dead. Okay, 10. Sweet Kiss. More like Sweet Miss. Pidro. Keep letting Clefcarp do it, because why not? The baby evolutions that evolve by friendship apparently have a base level that works for them as well, so... We'll probably... Probably get the Cleffa to evolve before I reach level 20. Cleffa side of it, I should say. He and I. Ooh, so sorry. I totally knew that was gonna happen when I switched into Kurtar here. Bit of a pain here. Hmm, I suppose I could speed up the bat- turn up the speed by one notch here. For the battles. Because there's a lot of these guys to just kind of go through at the start, huh? I'm number three. Prepare for defeat. Youngster Timmy. He's got regular Ekans. Left Carp. And get in there, Kurtar. Kurtar is not the best name. He's just- Bleh. I wonder how it would combine Gardevoir and Tyranitar, though. Crap, am I gonna die? Whatever, I'm going for it anyway. Meowshrew. Okay, keep doing that. Ooh. It looks bald. All right, send in Pika King here. And static. Okay, let me do this. Meowth's face plastered on a bunch of different Pokemon just seems like it would make something, like, kind of ugly. All right, let's run back and heal. I want to get to the grass and catch something. Uh, chat, let's not spoil a bunch of things before I even get close to the town, please. I'm number four. I'm the bomb, I think they said. Last rally got Rattata. Left carp. Send in Pika King and kick it. Pika King being part ground type is not going to help it. I almost just said part earth type. I've been playing too many other RPGs. Cough Orb. I think I may have seen this one. I'm not quite sure. Oh, what? That's just Voltorb with a coughing symbol on it. They don't even look like they fused. Looks like someone just put graffiti on it. Okay. Probably super weak to ground, but I only have a ground move. Screech him, but that doesn't really matter much. Oh. Has assurance. I'm going for it again. Ah, darn it. Okay, then. Fine, then. Pika King. It's just got war, point. war paint. Yeah. My technique. As Spongebob says, the technique. Get in there. There's a lot of NPCs in this place. Let me do a quick check of them. If you trade me a fire-type Pokemon for Bulbasaur, it would mean so much to me. You're not getting my Mr. Meleon for that. I'm a clown. I tell jokes for a living. Would you like to hear a joke? I taught my Pokemon a new HM. It made the cut. 
Did you like it? You can leave a tip if you want. There you go. Only one? This is an outrage. Come back when you're ready to hear another joke. Yeah. Another joke is that your thoughts are worth more than a penny. Misty's the coolest, strongest, most beautiful gym leader of them all. I want to be just like her when I grow up. Hello, Asprey. Remember me? I'm Professor Oak's assistant. Professor has tasked me with giving you this item if you've used Pokemon at least five times. Let me have a look. Used it six times. Hey, experience share. That'll help. Head Route 24. Okay, yeah, now it'll save me from switching in a bit. And you know Professor Oak, don't you? I heard his assistant over there talking about you. I, too, got my starter from Professor Oak back in the day. I developed a special move especially made for a starter. I'll teach it to you for 500. Oh, the pledges. Too bad. My Pokemon is better with special moves, so I'm using it as the head of my fusion. It's a physical attacker, so I'm going to fuse it as the body. Okay. Don't get upset at the low tip. Maybe I don't. E you'd be lucky you got something from me at all for that joke. Um. Yeah, let's give you this. No, no, no. Wrong thing. Wrong button. Good. I can loop it around there. Now we can just put Kurtar up front. Let it catch up with levels. Fortunately, my whole team is kind of weak to water. Polypip could probably, like, catch up later for Misty. I'm number five, I'll stomp you. Number five, like codename Kids Next Door number five. Suki, ooh, okay. It's like Man Bat. Seismic toss animation. There we go. I kind of want to see what Crobat and Annihilate would look like, but we know Annihilate isn't in the game. Congratulations, you beat our five contest trainers. You earned a fabulous prize. Solid gold. By the way, would you like to join Team Rocket? We're a group dedicated to evil using Pokemon. Yeah, sure. Great, just sign here and... Wait, aren't you the kid who was messing with us in Mount Moon? I take my offer back. We don't want no troublemakers in our organization. <laughs> Good question. What is Polypip's ability? Does it have Water Absorb? Chlorophyll. No, I don't think it was an option. I wouldn't have picked Chlorophyll if it wasn't the best thing possible. Leer, that makes very little difference. You're dead. Boost experience. Magical Leaf. Uh, that's helpful. I don't know if I want to keep Teleport or not, but... I only really need sand, Sandstorm at this point. Cough Bat. Send it in. <laughs> okay. Zubat's body looks weird with eyes where you'd expect the eyes to be. Oh, and there I go. It's faster. Alright, then let's just use Thundershock. I still need a Thunderstone to get the Raichu side of this thing. Your name, Elvis. With your ability, you could become a top leader in Team Rocket. Okay, put Pika King up front. I've got money. What we got? That's a Weedle. As in, we don't need it. Oh, come on. At least I'm about to hit that level up. An Abra Caterpie. God, it is kind of cursed to look at, ain't it? It probably just tell. It's probably gonna just teleport away anyway. I don't have that many Pokeballs. Is there a regular Abra I could just maybe eat something at? Left Carp gets a little bit. Copycat, nah. Okay, there's an Abra. It's gonna just teleport, so yeah, I gotta just play the eat the ball out of game. Damn. And there it goes. Yeah, regular Abra would only have teleport, a fusion wouldn't. 
Abg. <laughs> well, I do need more type variety. You know what? Why not? Get in the ball. Nope. Get in the ball. Flying Abra. Um, the head is Abra, so it's a special attacker, correct? Good lord, man. You know what? Fine. Do that. And yeah, I knew as soon as I attacked it would do that. I'm not gonna get an Abra. Oh, look, I got an Abra. Pokemon that sleeps 18 hours a day. Observations reveal that it uses teleport to change location once every hour. All right, we'll put that in the PC. Hey, did you come to help me on my field work? Right now, I'm looking for a Pokemon called Abra. Oh, what a coincidence. I'm studying its behavior and its natural habitat, but its teleporting abilities makes it very difficult to get a glimpse at one. Could you help me find one? Uh, well, I did. Do I need to have it in my party or should I just talk to him? Hey, okay, there's a Bellsprout. Cut, Hoppip, and Bulbasaur can be found if I just get a fire type. Yeah, it has to be in my party. Alright, let's go back and get one then. Need to catch more Pokemon that would be fun to fuse together. Organize fuse. I caught a shrew. Uh, if I did Abra head and shrew body... Doesn't Sandslash have good defense? Wouldn't that, like, help Abra's, uh... The whole Aberline situation of having no defense. I could fuse these two together. Quirky nature, that's neutral. Synchronize, teleport. And there's Sand Veil. Okay, hit the wrong button there. Alright, let's just go show her this. Yep, there you. Yeah, yeah, I got one. What a lovely looking Abra. I see, so it looks like Abra can sense danger telepathically and teleport away when sleeping. Fascinating. Pokemon exhibit very complex behaviors influenced by the other Pokemon that live alongside them. I use this tool called a Poka Radar to catalog every Pokemon that appear on a given route. Poker Radar makes it easy to detect rare Pokemon hiding in tall grass. Its light will flash green when you have encountered every Pokemon in this route. Please try to catalog every Pokemon in this route. Come back to me when your radar flashes green. Okay. Every Pokemon here, huh? Got a key. How do I... What's the button for registered? Don't seem to have it. Alright, again. If, then the grass flash is too fast, hang on. I need to see Oddish now. Just use the D key? Okay. Hang on, I feel like I actually am gonna sneeze now. I just. Okay, I think I'm good. Holy crap, I need that out of my system. Oh, did I just activate a chain of Bellsprout? I'm using a controller right now, yeah. These are really all the Pokemon that are here. What if I go back? Hang on. To the previous route. And Kata. Okay, I don't really want to catch that. How would that even work for Shedenja? We got here. I need strength for that one. Mm okay, Kurtar is that level. 
Been a youngster. My Ratata is different from regular Ratata. It's like my Ratata is in the top percentage of Ratatas or something. I'm sure it is, you Mr. Joey. It's a Ratata Raticate. Looks surprisingly passable. Okay. Great. Oh well. Don't show him the DNA splicers. He might fuse himself with his rat. Maybe it's just me, but the the main interface... Sometimes when I look at this, I can't immediately tell which one's highlighted until I move the cursor. Is he gonna make the ratatash? It's funny how that creepypasta actually predicted infinite fusion, didn't it? Let's go back and heal. Oops. Chat seems to agree the the chat uh, the menu should be highlighted a little more, yeah. Now then Look you out, Route 25. I think I want to keep up with the Clef Carp. Local trainers come here to practice. I haven't been talking to trainers after beating them. I honestly should do that on like the next uh route back. Oh hey, it's it's uh Nito. They? Yeah, let's go with that. There we go. It's just need a ram without a gender symbol now. And it's gone. Kinda they kinda look good together like that, to be honest. Another one. Okay, I'm poisoned. But you know what? I'm gonna YOLO it. Oh! <laughs> is that the inverse version? I guess it is. Yeah, Essentials ha does have some issues, for sure. It's kind of a miracle they got as much stuff working with it as they did. Protein... Guess we can just use that on uh, Pika King. We're gonna be keeping that for the long run, for sure. Uh, wrong... Use your last protein. Antidote. And potion. My Ratata wants to fight you again. Right of my Ratata, aren't you? No, no, no. We are not going to go back for Youngster Joey for rem rematches. All Pokemon have weaknesses. Best to raise different kinds. Would you like another battle? Not yet. Okay. That took me to a great party in the SSN for Million City. For those that don't know the reference I'm making, um, I played a Pokemon Creepypasta game, and oh my god, that, that thing would fit right in with Creepypasta. Try confusion. Okay, it's part of Psychic still. Yeah, like the other month, I played a Pokemon Creepypasta game, and uh, in that game, I decided to read aloud some old Creepypastas for Pokemon, and one of them was a, was a weird one about Joey constantly challenging the player to rematches, but he started, like, stitching parts of other Pokemon's bodies onto his Rattata, and it was really weird. Really, really weird, and it predates this game. But, uh, it, this game became very relevant for that creepypasta, didn't it? I keep getting poisoned. I should just go back after this. Um, can experience share the Abra, or whatever I fuse it with. And then Kurtar here. Oh, man, it's, it looks so squishy. with that. And yeah, at the end of that creepypasta, um, what was it? Joey, like, stitches the, ra like, his Raticate's, um, body to himself to become the Raticate, and it just got really weird. SSN, I saw trainers from around the world. Hey, by the way, you want to, like, to trade for one of my Pokemon? I was wanted a rock type. I'll trade you my Pokemon for any rock type. Okay. I'm gonna run back now. Your ability could become a top leader. I did my best. Oh, do they have nothing to say? Looks like their dialogue is generic. Pika King fainted. So close. 
I love poison flashing. Heck yeah, it's the most fun mechanic ever. Hang on, does the radar change its its uh, layout at night? Uh, is it not registered? It says it's registered. Oh, okay, it has to highlight for that. That's the case. Is there a button for it now? Ah, there it is. I clicking the right stick. That's weird. Weird way to automatically map that. Okay. Regular Pidgey. Man, even the wild Pokemon are messing me up a little bit now, huh? Find some grass here if I can. No, just more trainers to fight. You're a hiker. I want to get Clefcarp to level 20, first of all. Put Mr. Meleon up front. Just got down from Mount Moon, but I'm ready. Mr. Meleon. I, every time I see it, I want to say Mr. Melon. Because my brain just, like, sees those words together as that. Okay. Come on now. It is my ace, and we can let it get some more experience. This game is pretty grindy, but that's pretty much what I signed up for. 4100, 4100, don't need it. I don't need Splash, but Pikachop. Oh god, let's see it. Yeah, okay, it just looks like Machop wearing a, a Pikachu mask. So, for battling mostly, I could keep this speed, as long as it's not too jarring to look at. Oh, Clefcarp's evolving. Oh god. I'm trying to lower the speed, but I can't tell which one level it's at. Clefcarp evolved into Clefcarp. It looks like it's in pain. No. Can't tackle. You need to stop. Oh. I accidentally clicked splash, but it worked out. Revive. Hang on, will the Moonstone I have work on it now? Chat, you want to see an abomination become an even larger abomination? Left Carp is evolving, hang on. Okay, it's at the lower speed. Oh god, it's got legs. Clef Carp evolved into Clef Carp. Darn it again. All right. <laughs> Careful nature. Right, this is a special attack again. Um, maybe once it evolves to Gyarados. Uh, well, the half of it falls to Gyarados. I can use the Inverse Splicer to make sure I get the most out of attack, because I'm going to be running more of a Gyarados part of it. A Fairy Water Gyarados sounds kind of sick. Even if it has to so send, sell its soul to the Kleppas in order to get that power. Still a demon. Leave you get to choose the nature. Hang on, I can up the speed a little bit again. Let me use a potion on you right there. Games like these are pretty relaxing. Like, there's an endless amount of, like, mods and stuff of games to play now. Which I really just appreciate. It's, it's nice to be able to just turn on something and just turn off your brain for a bit. Especially in the context of streaming. Uh, Magical Leaf, duh. Easy for me to play, and a good chunk of you will probably just have this on in the background while you're working or something. Whether you're sleep- Oh, okay, I don't like the nose. Whether you're sleeping or, I don't know, drawing or something. Uh, part poison now, so let's do this. Excellent. Left carp, got that. Or cooking, yep, that's right. You're something. I knew I had to fight you. Oops. 
Venonans or Venoans. Pokemon can't be double the type, right? Like, if a poison merges with a poison, it doesn't become poison twice. Venishrew. Ooh, it's kind of a creepy face. Okay, no problem. Yeah, still pure poison. It just be, it would be really funny if the game calculated its its type twice for double stab and um, double a weakness. I knew I'd lose to you. Okay, a few more. They only seem to offer rematches thus far. If your Pokemon gets confused or falls asleep, switch it. Hey, while we're at it, what do you think of trading a Pokemon for one of mine's? Any poison type, as long as it's level 14. He's got the Venor uh, Venonet Shroom thing. They don't have... People offering to trade don't really have stuff that I want to get right now. Bill's Lighthouse isn't very far from here. We should have time for another battle. You're a busy guy, aren't you? I like how this route has, like, trees and stuff. It kind of makes it feel more full. Why my boyfriend is cool. One of the things that I wish Gen 5 kind of expanded on, or that I'd see more in fan games, is I like how, like, Gen 5 routes kind of, um... Like, they had little things like people camping, uh, like, you know, the little RVs and stuff. I kind of wish I'd see more fan games that have stuff like that. Look pretty cool. Pidgey. Nah, I'll just keep going. Left Carp is still weak because it's half Magikarp. Go. Audris? Oh, Paris and Oddish. <laughs> it's got that goofy little face. Its face makes it look like uh, an enemy from Binding of Isaac. Maybe it's just because I've been playing that game and I have it on the brain, but it does look like one of those random worm things. It seems like it can't hit me, so let's just do this. I got the Kurtar from the Wonder Trade, so it's getting boosted experience because it's, it's accounts as a traded Pokemon. It's not the best looking fusion by any means, but the idea of getting Tyranitar or Gardevoir sounds kind of cool. I like the idea of the inverse DNA splicer as well. We can uh, kind of take a quick look at other stuff. Get things for the thumbnail. Youngster Chad. <laughs> that one's goofy enough, I like it. Is that the tail out of the bulb? No fire types here. Uh, is it gonna kill me now? Great, it's going for pursuit, so it's gonna kill me regardless. So let's just risk it. Yep, there it is. Mr. Melons. Yeah, give it that. Imagine seeing something that looks like this, and it approaches you trying to bite you. When it bites you, you feel a burning sensation. And the last thing you see is that thing. God, that's a horror game right there. Ooh! I hate how the drowsy's nose kind of fits with being on a snake in a weird way. Uh... Psychic poison, so it doesn't matter what I use at this point. Nice. Really does not feel like it's been 40 minutes. No, not a whole lot of things to catch right yet. There's water here. I guess I'll have to come back. I got the Abra. I should combine it with the Sand Shrew for fun, at least. I can always take it back later, because Alakazam would be cool to see together with stuff. You know what would be really cool? I just realized something. Um, Don't spoil it for me if it's really how it is, but let me fight this guy first. I'm off to see a Pokemon collector. What if you combine Alakazam with Dublade, and instead of two spoons, it's just dual wielding? <laughs> Odd Nyx. Now that's an Isaac enemy. What if instead of two spoons, it's just dual wielding swords? That sounds like it would be sick. I should try and do something like that. It might be a custom sprite that no one's thought of yet, who knows. Uh, is it rock grass? So oh, confusion's probably still the best. It's part onyx, so it's got defense. Looks like Larry Jr. from Binding of Isaac, yeah. I lost? Onyx seems like a fun one to combine. 
Okay, can't get by him. Alright, I guess we're done here. Let's get this stuff then. Experiment number 32. I will now test the effects of using DNA splicers on a human by using it on myself in this ride-on. Experiment starting in 3, 2, 1. Hmm, that's no good. That's no good at all. Huh? You didn't see that, did you? Okay, I'll admit, I was conducting research on fusion, but I might have screwed up. I wanted to see what would happen if you combine DNA of a Pokemon with a human. But now these claws are much too big and I can't operate the cell separating system to turn myself back. Hey, what's with that skeptical, uh, skeptical look? I'm not joshing you, I really need your help. How about it? Help me out here. When I'm in the teleporter, go to my PC and run the cell separation system. Alright. Yeah! Thanks, bud. I owe you one. So did you come to see my Pokemon collection? You didn't. That's a bummer. I gotta thank you. Here, maybe this'll do. SS Ticket. That cruise ship, SSN, is in Vermilion City. Its passengers are all trainers. They invited me to their party, but I can't stand fancy dues. Why don't you go instead? What's up here? He's got a comfy place here. His house could stand to be comfier. I like how they made it a lighthouse. Oh, I'm not supposed to walk on that tile, am I? Oh well. Like, Bill had a lighthouse in like that one episode of the anime, I think. Oh, it's raining? And now it's not. Because I walked in and out of the route. There we go. What happened to the ride on? We raw. That looks so silly, I'm gonna catch it anyway, just to see. Yeah. A Wee raw has an extremely acute sense of smell. Observation revealed that it uses teleport to change location once every hour. Bug psychic doesn't sound like a great type. Did I get the ability to smash rocks? I did. And what's here? Regular Geodude. I feel like I should catch it. I should catch a few more Pokemon that evolve a lot, just to combine them for, uh, just for the hell of it, you know? Climbs Mountain Pass, using only power of its arms, because they look like boulders. Geodude just feels kind of generic. I feel like Golem combined with things visually will be cool, but that's kind of a ways off, isn't it? Hmm. Alright, let's get in here. We've talked to Bill. See if we can exit. Before that, let's combine the Sandshrew. Oops. There we go. Just, just for fun. I might take the Sandshrew part away from it later. Uh, oh, wrong, yeah. Two. Okay. Looks like that one is making, like, blocks float. And that one seems to just be probably Abra with a sand true face. Bricks. Um... So, hang on a second. This one means that it would have the Abra head, so special. it would have the special attack, right? Sorry, I keep forgetting this. It's, it's one of those things that just can't commit to memory. If I want to keep special attack, I should pick the left one, right? The one I'm highlighting? <laughs> um, hang on, I need a drink. Body makes up the attack. Head makes up the special attack, defense, and HP. Okay. So I can't have my sand true defense then, or can I? Alright, so Abra head on this one is what I want then. Combine them. Think of it like this the body is physical, the head is mental. Okay. That does sound helpful. <laughs> 
sprite ba by uh, M. Letau. How do I say that? Abshru. Mouse Psy Pokemon. Its Pokemon sleeps 18 hours a day. Its hide is turned tough but solid as a result of living in the desert. Sand Veil or Inner Focus. They're both neutral. It doesn't matter. Okay. Um, it doesn't really matter which one I pick, to be honest. Combine move sets. Don't need teleport. All right. Serious nature. Yep, got special attack, neutral. Fortunately, it doesn't have any Abra moves because Abra gets teleport and that's it. So it's going to need to be experience shared to Kadabra at level 16 where it gets confusion. That could be fun to take around. All right. Now, before I go into Misty, I think we should get the Gyarados half. This one I want to level up a little bit for fun. Wait, it has shield dust? Ah, oh, that might not be too bad. Um... It's not going to have Abra's special attack, though, so... Oh, and it's Brave Nature, too. Damn. It's not that great, is it? Alright. Luckily, trainers rematch me, which is good enough. Were there any other trainers on this actual route? Or was I just jumping ahead here? No, it looks like that's that. I wonder if one of them's the Pokemon Breeder I need to get the Love Letter to. I didn't check out the rest of the houses yet. Would you like to trade my Yanma for Paris? It's not a bad deal. Yanmega's a thing. My husband loves training, makes him feel like he's young Pokemon trainer. Ah, uh, what if I go to Mount Moon and try and catch another Paris? Always want to kind of want to try using an early Yanmega. You can in Hercold so silver. Can I run into anything in here? Ugh, Geobat. We need to kill things right quick for the Clef Carp as well. Inner Focus got buffed in Gen 8, but given that this mostly takes stuff from Gen 7 mechanics, it's probably not in this game. Uh, what is Inner Focus buffed to in Gen 8? I'm not up to speed with how a lot of abilities and stuff are updated. Like, I couldn't really get into uh, getting Pokemon ready in Scarlet and Violet for anything competitive. I, it just is still too time consuming for me. Going from den to den just felt like I was playing a mobile game and I kind of stopped. Still like collecting Pokemon cards though. That's more of a more of a thing I pay attention to. Okay. The closest to competitive Pokemon stuff I've been doing is probably just Pokemon Stadium. I'd happily try out some more mods and stuff like Emerald Rogue that kind of like encourage that kind of competitive mindset without like having to invest 100 hours to train to EV train something. Oh man, Padood! <laughs> Padood, are you okay? I don't think it's okay. We know that Paris is in the thing here. It's a Papa. Come on, where's the regular Paris? So I'm assuming if anything's on the encounter table, there's a chance that they can just be combined when you run into them. So Paris is here. Papa looks like a little bundle of merchandise. I could unfuse it, but I need to train anyway. Magical Elite the Geodude now that I think about it. I'm training for Misty and also trying to get my Clef Carp up. What is it looking like? 89 to next one. Yeah, Papa was uh, Paris and Kleppa. See if I have better luck on the other floor. Well, again, I know Paris is here, so I may as well just keep looking. True! we go. I know there's unique stuff in the Rock Smash Rocks. 
Just not really going around breaking them. Gia Shrew. I got the experience share from the Cerulean Pokemon Center. Okay. Rock Slide. I don't think I can really use that. No. Heal Pulse. No. Left Carp level 17. Unfortunately, a good chunk of my team is weak to water, which is an unfortunate coincidence, but hey, I got an Abtru. What do you got? Come on. I couldn't find Paris in the grass outside, could I? Let me check the D here. Okay, now just Kleppa. Is there a shiny patch on the radar still? Kinda hard to even notice it. There is. Since I have it set the speed up a little bit. Should have just caught the Paris fusion, god damn it. I know Paris is in this encounter. I'm running to its fusions. I'm not having good luck here, so may as well go deeper. Back to the big floor. Oh my god, I can't believe it. Oh, whatever. Alright, Sin and Peak King. It's poisoning me. Of course it is. I don't get to keep its Pokeball, I'm training it, so... Damn it. Gonna have to hit it with something. There you go. The radar works in caves? Ooh, I gotta try that. Um... <laughs> That paralysis symbol does not look quite right there. Two, three, four. There we go. Um, what level does Yanma learn ancient power? Assuming this is using the Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon level up tables. There we go. Yeah, poison. I'm just going to use the antidote because I want to deal with that. All right, now that I caught it, let's go trade it. Thanks for gifting the sub, yo-yo. I appreciate it. This gave important experience to the Clef car. What's it going to be called? A Clefados? A Garafable? Depends on when I inverse it, too. Probably going to use the inverse one when it's done. Your trainer collecting fighting? Tough life. All right, let's go get it out. First, let's heal up. No fire types on me, though. Would Charizard and Gyarados be fire wire? Uh, fire water? I think it would be. Be annoying if it came out as fire flying, wouldn't it? <laughs> uh, wait, was it my party? Wait, what? Oh, it's, it's showing the pirogue! Uh sprite there. That's why I was confused. Dry skin. Didn't realize you could have that. Well, anyways. Rogue down. That's a box glitch that happens often, I can imagine. All right, buddy, here you go. Wing. Serious nature, speed boost. Passing on speed boost would be pretty funny. Um, body was also speed, right? 
Foresight, Tackle. All right, not bad. Combine this with something cool. Yeah, because legs are the Pokemon. That's what I was thinking too, right? Deposit it for now. Yeah, I really gotta catch more interesting things and just kind of pop them together for fun. I don't care about Geodude, though. I've seen too many Geodude fusions. want to see this thing evolve, pretty much, and then probably won't use it. But, anyways, let's finish getting Klefkarp up. Okay, Kurtar could just get one more level. Let's go back up to the northern route. I still haven't run into an Oddish for this quest, so I may as well look. Caterpie... we go. Speed boost slow bro. That would be something, wouldn't it? And too fast. Alright, I want to fight the trainers. Too much wild mons now. His Ratata wants to get beat up, so let's do it. Wait, he's gonna bite me. Ooh, what have I done? Send him Pika King. All right, no problem. Give it a kick. I could just put Pika King up front and probably just steamroll this guy. There we go. Yeah, one shot it, but whatever. Imagine speed boost Slack King. <laughs> that would be funny. How does the game pass on Truant, by the way? Like, is there anything in place that forces a Pokemon to keep that? Or what? Okay, Mr. Meleon up front here will be good. Nope. Oh, that sounds good then. Uh, let's get you to level 20, though. I'm poisoned. Yes, I am. All I ever do is get poisoned as Pika King, apparently. Okay, Mr. Meleon should be able to steamroll this. Left Carp is level 17, almost to 18. There we go. Okay. 21. Scary face? Uh, you have that by default. Send in Nidoran. Could you possibly get sp uh, speed boost, um... <laughs> uh, Regigigas, yeah? What about... Um, what about Wonder Guard? Surely there's something that stops you from putting Wonder Guard on Pokemon, right? Right? I feel like that should be the one exception. I did see, uh, uh Ninkata. Wonder Guard will always set your HP to 1. Oh, okay. That That's fine, because if you have Wonder Guard, you're pretty much vulnerable to, like, any kind of status effect. Alright, beating this person up seems good enough. That's, that's a good way to balance it. Yeah, you just activate Sandstorm, you're dead. You are dead. Excellent. Even if you're, like, a poison ground type and immune to poison and, uh, sandstorm, you could still just get hit by confusion or something. Or hail. There we go. Alright. This is a quick, easy-as-hell way to farm, huh? Left Carp's getting a good chunk right there. Oh, wait, that's different. Why is that different all of a sudden? It evolved? Does that happen here? Or are their levels increasing? Okay, I don't want to reflect. 
They're evolved if you rematch enough. Okay, that's good then. Left Carp is level 19. I really want to see this thing evolve, so let's keep doing it. Plus, this just makes my starter even stronger. I want to understand this is... Oh, <laughs> look at those ears. It's uh, the girl Nidoran with uh, Nidorino's ears. <laughs> it's listening. Look at its face. It hears things it did not want to hear. That's cool. It's all the fun of the Versus Seeker without running back and forth for a minute between matches. Do it again. I'm sure this is pretty much how a lot of other streamers have been playing uh, this game too, huh? Trying to grind out the fusions they really want to see. Well, also, gotta be prepared for the gym. Don't know what Misty's gonna have. Okay, how close are you, Clef Carp? 285. I know there's a built-in randomizer for it. I didn't want to do a randomizer for a first go, though. That just leaves more content on the table for later, huh? Duran. 23. Alright, here we go. Lowered the speed right quick. <laughs> it looks like an, it's just an Alaskan bullworm. It's big, hairy, and pink. It's a Kleftos. <laughs> Wants to learn bite. Yeah, we'll teach it to bite, all right. Ain't that something. All right, let me take a look at it. Careful. Okay, now it's got the attack. That's thumbnail right now, so it is the form that I want it to have. Toothless Gyarados. Oops, it's doing that now. Okay, I gotta get back, though. Pika King fainted. I haven't saved, so I really should do that. So it's got Gyarados' attack, but it also has Clefable's bulk. Yeah! Its attack is as high as its, its special defense is slightly higher. Damn. Is this why good bears stay away from Clefas? Yes. I set this thing up with Dragon Dance and it's a beast. Is Dragon Dance a level up move or do I got is it like a level one move I need a hard scale for? Um, just for fun, hang on. Save to file B. Go back to file A. Don't want to get my data corrupted like Dylan. DNA Reverser. Stock up on a couple of these just for fun. More of these for the road. Ten more Pokeballs. I have no Teddy Ursa. Hang on, I just realized something. Someone wanted to see a Johto Pokemon and I have the Yanma now. Gotta remember to do that before I leave. But, uh, before that... Save the game. I can go to the title screen and reload. So here's... Let's just use the DNA re Inverser just for fun. And then... Uh, re reverser, okay. On a couple Pokemon here, and then I'll just reload it. Because that seems like a fun way to just kind of show off more stuff. Let's start with Mr. Meleon. Hang on. Let me put the speed back to normal. Mr. Meleon is... Oh, God. I'm scared. <laughs> I tell you, that boy don't look right. It's a Charmime. Alright, uh, this should become Nidochu. Oops. We're gonna reload, we're just doing this for fun. Oh, this might not be so bad. What do we got? Oh, I, ta I, I take that back. 
<laughs> Look at it. All right. How about a Klefdos? Oh no. I'm regretting this now. What is that? Gar Gara Fable. Don't even look right. Like, is the mouth on, like, uh, the stomach down to, like, uh, the left knee? Is that- a I don't know if that's a custom sprite. There's no name there. Alright, I got one more. I'm gonna use it on Kurtar. It's not- it's not custom? Okay. Definitely a generated one. <laughs> that one does not look good. A Larvilia. Heal Pulse. No. No. Is this also an auto one? Hang on. I don't see Curlia on the sprite there, though. Don't save. Okay. Push the button, because some jackass likes to claim the music on the intro. There we go. And now we're back to normal. Uh, Kleftos lost its sprite, and- wait, what? What happened? Some of the party sprites aren't right. I guess that's just how it's gonna be sometimes, huh? You know, the game is a bit glitchy. Anyways, what else could I evolve right here? Uh, I could get per I could get Abshu to level 16. Kleftos. Hang on, what TMs do I got? Rock Smash, the Frustration, Venishock. Probably go to the Move Reminder for Kleftos. All right. Abshrew. There we go. Get Pika King some levels here. Fight again. That feature just never works right. Alright. Looks fine. I think Pika King looks a lot better than Nido Chu. I, I think, like, no one's gonna be arguing much about that. Nido Chu is a little bit of a gremlin. You're level 19 now. He got static. 265. Abstru level 12. Perfect. I shouldn't use a potion on you. It's raining now. Mr. Melion up front. Actually, what do I have on your for your moves here? Intimidate. don't really have best moves. I just have Bite on this thing. No Waterfall HM or anything. It's raining. Rain is pretty comfy, when you think about it. Could check the rock some more. Oh, Heart Scale. Those refresh if I just go over here over and over. Oh. Oh. I see a different one. Bunny? Is that Bunnelby or Buneary? I'm actually not sure. Buneary. Okay. Super high-level friendship bunny. If they set the friendship evos to be at levels, did what did they did they do anything from Buneary then? Because Buneary starts at like no damn friendship whatsoever. Twenty. Okay. Twenty-five. 
I think I'm gonna run into the bunny. Because it's outlined in uh, that little orb there, does that mean I can only run into this through the um, through the radar, or can I run into it naturally? There's an Oddish now. Oddish might be fun. We've seen uh, Oddnix, or... Okay. Can Pika King get its Thunder Wave off? Find out. There you go. Now do it again. I think it means you have to see everything else first. Well, I did see everything else first. The weed Pokemon. Oops. More Oddish. <sighs> what a pain. I gotta go back to the center. But I also... That's it. Now that you've mapped the entire route, you should be able to find this route's rare encounter with your radar. Yeah, I thought you'd tell me about this. If Professor Oak's predictions are correct, it should be a normal-type Pokémon called Buneary. Use the radar and see if you can find one. Oh, I understand. So that's how it works. If you run into every Pokémon on a route, you unlock the rare encounter with the radar. That's an interesting way of doing it. Anyways, let me just go back and heal this. I want to get the the Kadabra part of Abshrew to evolve, or the Abra part to evolve into to Kadabra. You know what the hell I'm trying to say. I want to see if I can get something out of these rocks, though. Okay, they're decent leveled there. Plus, I can kill with Kurtar. Time for a stretch. Good idea. A hard stone. There we go. My back has, uh, been better. I've been doing too much sitting this past month. Mostly because I couldn't really go out. Oops. I gotta go enter a building for it to end. Okay. Or reset. Just hop in and out there. This house is there, but not yet. Do that. Pretty much like when I get out of the hospital, I could not do a thing for a good lo good while. I only got to like go out and go downtown like for the first time in like well over a month uh, a few days ago. Just went downtown for dinner with, for my birthday with a friend. That was nice. I don't know why I went for the grass. I'm trying to reset the rocks. There we go. Oh, it teleported. Here we are. Seems like I could farm some heart scales. There we go. Oh, I can walk through that pot. What do you guys have? Have you heard about Bill? Everyone calls him a Pokemaniac. I think people are just jealous of Bill. Who wouldn't want to boast about their Pokemon? There's a small town north of Route 25 called Crimson City, but I don't know anyone who's ever been... I won't even know how to get there. Right. That's probably what the surfing route leads to. Come on. Stardust. This could be a way to farm money as well. Also rematches, but, you know. Um... You're still blocking the way down there. I do want to beat Misty before I go, but... Hmm, Pokemon Trainer, have we we have met before. I remember you. Brought back this special float from my travels. Show me the city's badge and it's yours. Okay. Five oh one. The Abshu is holding stuff. The mover learner was in the center, weren't they? Hello, move reminder. Okay, charges a thousand. 
Splash, Thrash, Spotlight, Sarmin Boys, Metronome. Metronome! Not that wild. Uh, isn't this what Follow Me does? No, this is Follow Me, but for one turn. I probably should give this thing Thrash, because it only has Bite. I'm not sure what the scales are for. Get rid of Pounds. Just need something for the gym. I don't know how this works, but when I, get tra I train a strong Pokemon, I also tend to get a strong Pokemon. Hello, I'm the update man. Is there anything I can help you with? Nope, not right now. We don't need to update. Okay. One more round of rocks right quick here. Come on. Got a rare bone. Another sellable. All right, let's get that Abshrew evolution. Plus, I do need the levels on Pika King. Let's fight this guy. Whether it's like encountering stuff in the wild, uh, spam in the reverser, it's fun to just see crap, ain't it? But we're getting to the point where I just gotta beat Misty, but I wanna evolve the Abshrew for, so it has confusion as well. go. Oh my god, that startled me a bit. King Rat. This is what Joey became at the end of the creepypasta. It's the Rat King. <laughs> even rematch and trainers is another way to see more of these. God, everything, even the grind is rewarding. The thing I like grinding in RPGs. Faint. Nah, you don't need that. 14 Abtru. Magnitude. Ah, uh, yeah, you could do that. Sure as hell don't need Poison Sting. Let me just do this and fight the Rat King again. It's the top percentage of rats. All those other ones got red eyes. You missed. Okay, Abshrew needs one more level. Nice. That's a New York rat. Ugh. I don't like rats. One time I was going for a walk, and I saw, like, this huge rat just run across the street. And I was like, oh god. I had to stop, because I, I did not- I wanted to make sure that thing was far away before I went near where it was. All right, here we go. Abshrew is evolving. Oh? Okay. The shape made it look like there'd be more to it, but... Is that auto-generated? Can't quite tell. Kinesis. Yeah, the best move in the game. 80% accuracy. And it lowers accuracy. Didn't say there was a sprite thing there, did it? Confusion. Okay. Not gonna use Fury Cutter on this thing, that's for sure. Yeah, it does seem a little basic. Uh, I think it was level 40 that you get uh, Alakaz trained evolutions like Alakazam. Okay. You can always combine it with something else and take them apart. I think it's time for me to give the gym a try, though. Let's go heal. Take that away. Now we're gonna put the experience share on Pirogue. If Pirogue wants to stick around, it better have an amazing looking Evo tell you that much. Let's start with Klefdos. Sand? I don't remember what level Sand Slash happens, to be honest. Why don't you give me a reminder? Oh, short hair, Misty. 
Ah, you're a new face. What's your policy on Pokemon? What's your approach? My policy is not that offensive with water type Pokemon. Misty, the world famous beauty is your host. I'll let you use two po- I forgot about this part. Ah. Uh, all right. Totally forgot about this part. Jiggly Dean. Okay. Crash. Water Pulse. She looks like her anime self in game, though. Take a bite of that. Okay, confusion should go away. Audio. No Starmie thing? That's all you got, Misty? Ooh. Ooh! Confusion and paralysis couldn't stop me. Can't believe I lost. Alright, you can have the Cascade badge until you beat me. Damn, Klefto's carried. You're too much. Alright, you can have the Cascade badge until you beat me. Pokemon level 30 obey. That includes one in trades. Uh, even a relevant mechanic. Reaches Water Pulse. Obtained a one. Oh, yeah, the premium wonder trade. Dominated that fight. Pure skills. I should teach Water Pulse to the Gyarados there. Or the Kleptos. Just so it has water coverage if it goes up against a Geodude or Graveler type thing. Uh, Pika King can learn it as well, but because Nido King just gets access to so many stupid moves that it does not need. Draining Kiss. I guess you don't need Charm. Klepto's actually not so bad. Mina probably ain't gonna like the Klepto's. <laughs> it's an Alaskan bullworm, all right. Okay. Wonder trade ticket. Maybe I should give away the weed, Ra? Hmm. Or should I give away a stronger Pokemon? Don't have any stronger Pokemon, though. There's also the Polypip. I kind of want to train this more than the Pirogue. Hmm. I trade this. That's all I really got, so let's do it. Hang on. You take the item off of you. There we go. Yeah, I'll just trade the Wii Raw. Save game, save the file A. Save again. Go to file B. Oops. Wrong thing. Ah, it's a pain in the ass sometimes. Alright. Every time you beat a gym leader, you get a premium wonder trade ticket. Yep. Send out the Wii Raw. Bill sends Gizmo from the Bill Pokemon Collector. Oh, God. Um, well, I could take... I could take the jelly part of it out of there. I already have enough Clefairy-related things today. Don't look that bad. I already spent my Moonstones. Gizmo. Psychic Berry. Jolly Nature. Ooh, not good for you there. Not good at all. If that's the case, I definitely want to combine this with something that takes advantage of an attack stat. So we just say, take the jelly out of there and use it for the, um... Could make Gummy Bear. If I had a Teddy Ursa, Timmy would be way better, yeah. Hang on, I think I need room in my party. I want to use... Hang on. Yeah, I want to use jelly for the body and something else for the head. 
because Jolly Nature is not that great for anything that Jelly can do. What about the Tyrogue? Mm, that's not too bad an idea. Hang on. First, I gotta... Hang on, I can do this from the PC. Let me just put them all in there. Okay. Unfuse... Can't unfuse a Pokemon obtained in a trade? Aww. Really? That's lame. Oh well, I guess this thing is kind of dead. Stuck with it. I guess we're just gonna leave it boxed because I don't want it. It's got a bad nature. Alright then, let's take out the Polypip. Something with the yen was soon enough. Hmm. Twenty-six. If I use you for the head, you know what? Why the hell not? Let's fuse some DNA splicer. Fuse. Neither of them are green. Ugh, they're all auto-generated. Okay, so that didn't work. I can reverse, but I don't want to. I don't want it. I did make multiple saves. I could just go back to the other one and scum another wonder trade. I feel like I deserve another one, to be honest. And it's for content, right? Right? Don't save. All right, press the button. Why are you wh Why are you not pressing the button? Skip it for crying out loud. I don't want to get claimed here. All right, file B. Yeah, go back to one minute in the past. It wouldn't let me skip the intro there. I was getting worried. All right, back up we go. Now it's save again over file A and B. Saved that. There we go. Now we saved on file B in that. One premium wonder trade ticket. Yes. Alright, take the Wii Ra. Time to scum it up. Gene Sen Ska. Well, alright then. Looks... looks happy. Looks like a little friend, all right. It looks like a hamster. It looked... it does look like a Hamtaro character. Oh my god. <laughs> it's a Slaril. Normal fairy. Naughty nature. As an attack buff. Huge power?! You're telling me instead of slacking having truant? Truant, I can have huge power? <laughs> oh, I gotta use this. That is the funniest garbage I've ever heard in my life. Okay, I think, yeah, uh, we're using this. Call me a cheater all you want. <laughs> Wait, not up front. An easy experience share for sure. Okay. Nah, I'll only give it its real name. Hang on. Hold an experience share, nickname. You see here. It's Azumarill's body, so attack comes from Azumarill, which is balanced to huge power. True, but if I reverse it, it will keep the huge power, right? Let's do that. First, let's save again. Save to file B. Save to another slot. File A. So, DNA Reverser. Okay. Yes. Well, it has... <laughs> Azukoth. We're checking to see if it keeps huge power. No, it has huge power. 
it still has huge power and it has an attack buffing nature. It doesn't look as good, but this is the better play. It leveled down. Oh well. <laughs> huge power, attack up, and experience share. It doesn't look as, as good. Mm. Well, this is how we keep... This is how we're going to get um, Slack off or Slack King's attack with huge power. Level 15 to evolve to Meryl. Level 18 to evolve to... Let's see. Azu, do you mean... Are you talking about the Sloth evolving? I think you got that backwards. All right, then. Let's train this. I'm down. I'm down for this. Hang on. What? What is this supposed to do? It just does that. Alright, heal me up. Now let's actually get a move on here. Team Rocket members are gone here. Hey, what's up, lads? Hey, I recognize you from Mount Moon. Go away. Oh, he kicked me out. We need a place to monitor our operations in Mount Moon, so we trashed this house and claimed it for ourselves. We took this house. It's our temporary HQ for now. I have a leftover Moonstone from our job. I don't need it. I'll sell it to you if you want. $6,000. No. Don't care either way. Alright, this is gone, so now we can look down here. Route 5. We gotta revive! All right. Now let's let Klefto sweep a little bit while we train up the new... Oh, it gets boosted experience. As if it needed another, another reason to be stupid good. All right, let's train up. See that small building? It's a Kanto underground. It goes under the Saffron City all the way to Vermilion. Would you like to trade a Ratata for my Poliwag? No, I already got a Poliwag Evo or Fusion. Meowish. Intimidate's a good ability. I'll oh, stop that. Apparently, I'm gonna need to buy antidotes since everybody and their grandma poisons me. I may be old, but I know how to fight. Azuma King. <laughs> Psychix. It's not actually psychic type, though. Let's do this. Level 10. I can't wait to see this thing evolve. I'm a Pokemon breeder. I specialize in breeding different kinds of Pokemon. I think the Slack King Azumarill with huge power is gonna literally be like the most unbeatable thing in the game. Let's hit that. Oh yeah, Mag Kid. I think I saw that on Dylan's stream. Did I see it last episode on my own? I can't recall. Togepi, just send it out. You can do a Klefdos. Kill. Let's go back in and heal. Aqua Jet. Yeah. You can learn that. Probably. Water normal, so only like three weaknesses. Oof. Is that a love letter for me? Oh, it's adorable. I'll make sure to get back to him. Thank you. All right, that looks good. Here, darling, have this. You can't battle an empty stomach. Hey, a cookie. All right, I already fought you guys. Should probably go tell that guy I finished his quest. I should just take out the uh, Yanma right quick as well. Is there no PC in here? Damn, there isn't. All right, let's go in here and get them out then. Organize, fuse. Okay, speed boost. I've lost interest in the Abshrew already now that I got this thing. How much does huge power boost 
Uh, boost the attack stat again. Okay, um... In the way. It doubles. Oh boy, that's gonna be funny. I want to see exotic Pokemon. Show me something from Johto. Oh, how precious. You've shown me a Pokemon I've never seen before. Have this as a token. Ooh, full restore. So, did you give her the letter? What'd she say? Oh, I'm so happy. I can't wait to hear back from her. Thank you so much. I want you to have these five love balls. Okay. There we go. Does anyone send love letters in this day and age, or do we just do love texts? Or do we just do desperate DMs? Imagine you get, a uh, like, a love letter in the mail, and you open it up, and it just says, hey. And then the next- and then an hour later, you get another one that just says, hey. 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 And then a week later, you get one that says, fine, whatever, you're ugly, I don't like you anyway. That's what love letters would be like. <laughs> there we go. Where has romance gone? My Pokemon just laid a new egg. Would you like it? Sure. Alright, cool. Egg. Exhausting, so it's important to remember to stop and eat once in a while. Hang on. Let me, uh, get that egg out. Uh, what? Excuse me? What the hell is that? That, that don't look like an egg to me. Mysterious egg. What will hatch from this... Cool, well, I'm gonna put it in. I don't know why the symbol for an egg is not an egg, but... Sure. Does that mean it's gonna hatch into a fusion? Alright. Cool. Alright, we'll keep it around. I'm liking this team so far. Let's keep having a look around. You give more eggs. So is the egg I gave you hatched yet? No. What can be found here? Ogapi is a rare one now. Nice. Take a bite out of that Zubat. There's bound to be trainers after the underground path, so let's go do that. I really want to level this this thing up. You can use DNA splicers on fused Pokemon to infuse them, but it'll cost you a DNA splicer. And Pokemon lose their moves and some of their experience, so be careful. Let's run. People often lose things in the underground. Well, I ain't got time to look, lady. Okay. Looks like Pikachu can be found here. Oh, look, Pikachu can be found here. Pikachu is a funny little thing to catch. Give him a kiss. I thought it might live, but I guess not. Won't you have a look at my bug Pokemon? A Clefri. God damn it, the plague is spreading. If you took a screenshot of just this moment right here and showed it to me, uh, it. <laughs> As uh, a game I should play, I would have I would have told you to get this crap away from me. There we go. I should have the latest version right now. Yeah, yo yo. Kick. Everything is parked with fairy. Bubble beam. Too bad it's garbage, but better than bubble. Faint attack. Or an encore. No, is the radar still active? That Pikachu encounter still there? Cool. Fortunately, I don't care about you, Pikachu. You die. Critical hit. I took one step. There it goes. I don't know the name of this route now. Take a bite out of this Oddish. There's twins right there. Let me get the double battle crew ready. Uh, Kurtar should be fine for this. Me and my sis, we fight together. This is Route 6? Yeah. I never really remember most routes by, um, oh, by their actual route name. 
These are Pikachu right here. Okay, Thrash. Magical Leaf. Uh, you Electric Psychic or Electric Water? You're, ba you're definitely Electric Water, though. Excellent. Ah, not quite enough. Leftos killing everybody. Okay, this is an evolution. Okay, here we go. Azukoth is evolving. Uh, looks the same. <laughs> Into Makoth. It's now happy. Got over the tough times. And I don't recall Azumarill being a late level evolution. What level was it? Take a look at it. Makoth. Naughty nature. Huge power. Just doubles the attack power. This is so funny. Hi, Vampy. I'm doing all right. That's the gate. What's the excuse? Hey, it's $100,000 you want to go through. Can't go to Saffron City without paying the toll. That's the rule. Of course, the toll is a lie, but I'm defenseless. I can't do anything about it. All right. I'm doing this out of love. Leave me alone. So, since you just got here, Vampy, you need to know the funny thing that happened. I did a wonder trade, and I got Azurul and Slackoff mixed together. So, I'm, I'm gonna have Slack King's uh, attack stat with huge power as an ability. And it's gonna be the most busted thing in the entire game. And I'm all for it. Let's do this. That's a squirt. That's a spear tool. There we are. I'm about to break this whole game. Everyone's gonna call me a cheater, though, because I reset for a better wonder trade. Ah, damn. Okay, it's fine. Send out Pika King. I feel like the beginning was a little bit slow at first, but, um... You're gra you've gotta be ground-type, so we're gonna have to do this. Alright. The beginning was a little slow, but once you get out of Mount Moon, I feel like there's a lot more options for, uh using and seeing, like, abominations. What the hell did it just do? Fight. There we go. One at 18 and one at 19. Damn, good. No helping hand. Slack King was, like, around 30-something, I think. Okay, Thundershock you. Oh, did it use Magnitude? Is that what that was? We lost, but at least we lost together. This isn't as humiliating as losing alone. We all wish we could just save and quit Wonder Trades. Sometimes you gotta accept things how they are. How about one last fight before you reach Vermillion? Nice. Teaching this thing thrash was a good idea. Audicate. <laughs> Camper Jeff. Alright, let's get in here and heal. Check the NPCs. Do you have fossils with you? You can bring them to Pewter's Museum. We have an experimental machine that turns fossils to living Pokemon. Upstairs is the Wonder Trade Center. It's wonderful. I can teach you another wonderful move called Wonder Room. It swaps the fence and special fence fall Pokemon. No. Too bad. Come back. You want me to teach it? I hooked up this Slowpoke with a good rod. I'll trade it to you for a Meowth. What do you think? Don't sweat it. I'll find someone else. Some people fish Pokemon for food, but I think it's more fun to keep them around as companions. Okay. Let's go beat up that last trainer. Don't despair. Vermilion City's right ahead. There we go. Again, I keep forgetting to talk to the trainers after the fact, because most of them want rematches. There we go. Amnesia. Oh, that's that. I don't know, maybe. Eakins. Nice. 
You know how to handle your Pokemon. Wanna do this again? Yeah, let's do it. I won't know what hit you. Wait, oh no, they're doing a double battle. I was wondering what the hell that was. All right, that's cool. Rash, confusion. Kurtar is just fine. It really does need to be better though. It's not gonna be amazing until I have the Gardevoir and Tyranitar halves of it. Audicate. Excellent. Left dose level 22. Okay, it should be evolving again. Slow it down a little bit. Makoth is evolving. Yeah, drink here. That one looks kind of auto-generated. Maroth. With that slick red hair there. Hey, it's me, Maroth. How's it going? I am a Pokemon, all right. Yes, I am. Its feet are all blurred. Why are... Is that because it's auto-generated? <laughs> yeah, that's why its feet are blurred. And also because people on the internet are weird. Honish, let me turn up the speed again. Kleptos is working out pretty damn well. You want a rematch? I'll heal up my Pokemon. Let's go. Tries to scale up the sprites and sometimes does that. Okay. All right. Just need one le more level and it'll evolve again. Leftos is <laughs> a funny little worm thing. Get these berries. Citrus berries. Oh, hey. Now Slackoth can appear as the rare encounter. Oh, hey, there it is. I already got my Sloth uh, friend now, though. Hey, it lived. And it's healing. I always combine with something else for the hell of it. Later. Sleeps virtually all day long, doesn't change its nest its entire life, but sometimes travels great distances by swimming in river rivers. Oh. Azumarill half. <laughs> Azumaroth. Now the hands are blurred. It looks terrible, but... It's gonna be one of the most broken things in the game. I hope that the Slack King part of it will look better. Catch these blurry hands. <laughs> look at it. Look how terrible it is, but it... <laughs> Slack King will be much, much better. Um, sorry, I probably missed it earlier in chat, but what level is Slack King happen? Pretty much this thing is going to be, like, it's probably good enough right now, but we obviously want it to be a Slack King more than anything. 36? Okay, starter Evo and levels. Heal again. It'll be a Zuma King. Yeah. It's one of those generated ones that just does not really look that great. It's, um... You saved a B now, too. All right, let's have a look around. Is there a hotel? Found this weird stone shining on the seashore earlier. I don't know what it is, but you can have it. Oh, hey, sunstone. Nice. I really want a Voltorb like that guy there, but he won't trade it to me. Not even for my fancy execute. I have a Voltorb. I love my Voltorb. I will not trade it for anything else other than an Ekans. Sounds to me like you don't love your Voltorb that much. Not as much. 
We get different Pokemon to join us every day here at the fan club. I love my seal. It squeals when I hug it. squeals when I hug it. I wanna be like Lieutenant Surge, but all I have is this Doduo. What I need is an electric Pokemon, like that guy with the Voltorb. Hey, won't you trade a Voltorb for my Doduo by any chance? No, it's not fair. Everyone wants, wants, wants. I chair the Pokemon fan club. I have collected over 100 Pokemon. Unlike most Pokemon trainers, I like my Pokemon to be purebred. No fusions for this old man. So don't you come to hear about my Pokemon. Good. Listen up. My favorite is Rapidash. It's cute, lovely, smart, plus amazing. You think so? Oh, yes. It's stunning. Kindly. Love it. Hug it when sleeping. Warm, cuddly, spectacular, ravishing. Oh, look at the time. I kept you too long. Thanks for hearing me out. I want you to have this. Bike voucher. Don't worry about me. My Fero will fly me anywhere, so I don't need a bicycle. I hope you like cycling. Okay. Hey, do you have a Spearow? Want to trade it for Farfetch'd? I need a strong trainer to take care of my Farfetch'd. Is it true that a higher level Pokemon will be more powerful? But all Pokemon have weak points against specific types, so there's no universally strong Pokemon. Um... I feel like there is... There's a lighthouse there. Did you see the SSN moored in the harbor? Wish I could afford a ticket. Eevee. Hello there, trainer. Do you want me to teach the move rollout for 2,000? No. I don't. I kept rematching the same trainer over and over, and their Pokemon evolved. Wow. I keep- I'm putting up a building on this plot of land. My Pokemon are trampling the land, but I ran out of building materials. You think you could do me a favor and get some planks and bricks for me? Or You're the best. You can get the bricks in Pewter City and the planks in Viridian City. Wooden planks from that. Okay. Did you know that Pokemon can forget HMs too, just like regular moves? Be careful where you do it, or you could get stuck. You could get stuck, you say. It'd be a shame if someone did that. I'm um, the move deleter. Okay, I don't really need you. Check the hotel. This ball and mushroom of yours, please let me buy it from you. I'll pay the big price. Sure. Ooh. Sure, I'll take that. Hang on, I didn't talk to you before. Current stats. Eight. Completed six. How do I know? One more thing, as a gift for helping many people, have this. Amulet coin. Okay. Yeah, that'll help out. Hang on. Uh, I could give it to Kleptos for now. This is a fun game so far. I'm liking it. Maybe you should check that egg as well. Still like that. It's great for rematches, yeah. I need money for a lot of stuff. I love unusually typed Pokemon. I would love to see a Pokemon that has fire and water. Okay. Don't have one of those. Vermilion City Lighthouse Keeper. Lighthouse is powered by my Voltorb. He's struggling by its own. Did you catch some more Voltorb to help it out? Why does everybody in this town want a Voltorb? Oh, you have a ticket? I was invited too, but I lost my ticket. It's a shame. I was trying to try the steamed crabby legs from the ship's restaurant. Could you do me a favor and grab some from the kitchens for me? You're the greatest. My mouth is watering already. Make sure it's still warm when it gets here. Steamed crabby legs. SS Anne's kitchen and bring them back before they get cold. Okay. We got some quests, but what's over here? Have you ever seen what Diglett looks like under the ground? I have, but I'm not telling. Child! You should not be aware of such forbidden knowledge. The human mind cannot comprehend it. The demons shall enter using her as a vessel. This tunnel is so convenient. I used it to go to retrieve the fossil I left at Pewter City's museum. To revive my fossil, yeah. There's an encounter. Friend. Ooh, level 22? Okay. Good training. Whoa, did you come from the tunnel? Bet you found tons of Pokemon in there. Actually, I found one. One's a Pokemon. 
What do we got here? I don't have cut, so I can't do that. Hey, would you like to trade me an Abra for my Mr. Mime? Such is life. I already have Mr. Mime related things. Hello there, I can make some items and a mushroom. Would you like to make something for you? Uh, Max Heal. You're missing some ingredients. Okay. Viridian Forest is full of bug type Pokemon. You're going to get bitten if you don't bring any bug spray. Or you could just, uh. I'll teach you to move Bug Bite for 2,000. That's too bad. Little gatehouse here. Look at all those cut trees back there. Damn. Ether. Ugh. I was away for some time, and trees have grown all over my garden during my absence. I would have cut them myself, but I was still a youngster. Like, if I, myself, I was a still... Is there a word missing there? I would have cut them myself if I was still an old young, still a youngster like you, but alas, I'm an old man now. Up an old man in his garden? Asprey the Lumberjack. Cut all the trees from the old man's garden, but I don't have cut... Well, can't do much about that. What's this? Oh. What is this? The secret forest. Looks like this is an exit. Well, we'll have to investigate that another time. I love secret stuff. Don't wish I could just have, like, a little mini castle or a little mini mansion just out in the middle of the woods somewhere. A secret hideaway. That'd sound cool. I ain't got cut, though, so I gotta go through the SSN. Only find in Diglett so far. Don't you bulldoze me. Hmm. Should check the move reminder. Maybe I could get you Aqua Jet or some kind of physical water move. Waterfall's probably not for a long time. Magnitude 10. Fantastic. Rock Smash. Oh, I don't have my Rock Smash user. It was Pirogue, wasn't it? I could just reteach stuff later. I could just put it on um, Azumaroth. Uh, I guess you can keep Slack off for now. God, the sprite. Hey. It lived the sturdy, but died to the confusion. I dropped my pickaxe, and now I can't get to it. It's all the way over there behind these rocks. Oh. Alright then. Heart scale. Catch these hands. These blurry hands. It's like he's wearing oven mitts or something. They got sturdy. I'm not gonna fight them. I've only been running into Geonude and rocks. I haven't seen anything else. Unless there's rare encounters I don't know about. Hardstone. Oh, there's a rare encounter. I haven't found it yet. The amulet coin is going to help me get more money, so I can fuse some more random stuff just for the hell of it. Leftos. Okay. Break them all. Here we go. Over and over. 
More friends to explore. Why are there so many rocks here? Soft sand ain't too bad. I get someone with earthquake or dig. A pickaxe. My pickaxe. Oh, the boss gave me a new one, so you can keep that, I guess. Uh, is that like... Okay, it lets me use Rock Smash without an HM. Okay, that's fine. Well, that worked just fine for me. Let's go, but don't cheat. What if I want to cheat, though? What are you going to do? <laughs> Exeglet. <laughs> that's funny. That's not funny. They poison powdered me again. They're bullet seeding. I'm thrashing. It's not right. I did my best. I have no regrets. You want to rematch? All right, I gotta heal again. Back and back we go. Leftos fainted. All right, let's get in here. Heal me up. Should fuse some stuff now. Let's see if I get this. This evolved. Hmm. I think if I I if, I don't want to inverse it because I'm pretty sure the other option wasn't custom. What about Yenma with Oddish? I think I was gonna do that because the head would yeah head is mental mental might. No, wait, I think I tried this, and they didn't have custom sprites, right? Yeah, they didn't. Place. Yeah, I feel like I want more materials. I already have a slack off fusion right now. I really need to do that. You did so basic though. I want like other stuff. I want to catch catch something else. Catch and find something else. Can I get up there? No, I have to surf towards it. I see. I'm the fishing guru. I simply love fishing. But I like your style. Take this. You got an old rod. Old rod won't reel in any strong Pokemon, but Vermilion City has a lot of aquatic Pokemon. You might be able to land a rare one. Might be able to. head down the SSN. My friend was supposed to meet me here, but he's running so late he might just miss the ship. I, on the other hand, will never miss anything thanks to this move called Swift. Taking your sales pitch? Get out of here. Do you know the SSN only comes once a year? Welcome to the SSN. May I see your ticket? Your room is number two. Enjoy your stay. All right. You, Mon Petit, we're busy here, out of the way. I only get to peel onions. Ahem, I, indeed, I am Le Chef. Oh, you're looking for leftover crabby legs? Sure, just go ask the lady by the stoves. I'm sure we have some leftovers. Preparing food, let me tell you, it's a lot of work. You're looking for some steamed crabby legs. Of course, we have lots of leftovers. Here, they're still warm. All right. Crabbies were killed for these. Quick, bring them to the hotel before they cool down. Run, 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 sweet Jesus, run! That man don't get his hot crabby legs in 30 seconds. I'm gonna die. That's the mall. Yeah, hey, you got those steamed crabby legs I asked you for. Let's try this. Mmm, so good. Thank you so much, mate. Thanks to you, I got a taste of what it would have felt like to be on the fancy ship. As thanks, I'll teach the move Crab Hammer to your Pokemon for free. Uh... Can't even teach it to my, uh, water type. That was not really worth it. Hang on, is that enough quests for you? Help three more people get something good. Okay. I meant to go upstairs over here. I want to see if I can tutor something on the Azumaroth. Is 
charm, reversal, rollout. This is a cheaper way of learning rollout than from that other girl. Not that great. No, rollout's just gonna miss. I don't need it. Give up on trying to teach that. Okay, I'm doing just fine, friend. Ooh. All right, let's go check out the ship, I suppose. Passengers are restless. You might be challenged to some more bored ones. The ship is anchored in Vermilion City for a while. I wonder which city it'll go afterwards. Wouldn't it be funny if in another Pokemon game, the SSN just kind of showed up? You know what they say about sailors and fighting? No, I don't. I don't actually. Tell me. All right, Klepdos. Azumarill only gets Aqua Jet as an egg move. Ah, oh well. Is there no way to get egg moves in this game? Uh-oh. Look at that Shelter Zubat. That's kind of clever. I like that. Just joined. What is that? Oh, it it's a Klepdos, Mina. It it's it's a Klepdos. Clefable and Gyarados. Or an Alaskan Bullworm. You got a rare candy. I like feisty kids like you. Don't go around saying that to too many people. Oh yeah, I always forget. <laughs> the guy that says that is, uh, D is named Dylan. <laughs> there we go. Kill. Uh-oh. Of course he lived. Boosted. Horons. Can Azumarok do this by itself? Let's find out. You can get egg moves, you just need Surf. The thing I love is that because of uh, Vigoroth's like, little tuft of hair, it looks like some kind of like weird, lanky fighting type thing, but it has like a, like a, like a really just stupid looking haircut. It's so dumb. The only reason I'm putting up with this thing is because it's going to become a, basically a slack off of huge power. And that's going to be so damn funny. Middle school haircut. It looks like it's going to do a Fortnite dance. <laughs> um, can I keep leveling this thing up? Klepdos is getting some action now, but the rest of them need, some, need to do it too. I spent all my savings to buy a ticket for this cruise, and it was completely worth it. She must be dying or something. Hello, stranger. Stop and chat. All my Pokemon are from the sea. Is it Groose's haircut? Oh, no. I hate that you point that out. I don't have that amulet coin on, though. I should have switched that. Paiu. Oh. Ooh. Kill. I could probably... I probably should go to the Move Tutor and put Thrash on, like, Pika King as well. This Thundershock deletes these things still. Move. Nice, I can do that. That's handy. Matey, you're walking the plank if you lose. You're a sailor, not a pirate, man. Poly jump. <laughs> it's poly world, but it got deflated. Oh, someone like, like poked a nail into the poly world. Uh oh, got static, my boy. Twenty-one. Aqua tail. Oh, there's my physical water move. Aqua Tail, but it's gonna miss all the time, but hey, better Bubble Beam. Better just use a Super Potion right quick. Yeah, Max Ether. Let me get to an the next rival battle already. Hang on. 
Anything down here? Nope, can't even check it. Yeah, let me get a drink. I collect these Pokemon from around the world. Around the world, you say. Lassan. Wish I had just a generic, like, ground move to use. Like, bulldoze. Go Lotto. Uh oh, okay. That don't look right to me. From around the world for these. I love Pokemon, do you? I never saw you at the party. Wait, what? Both at once? Okay. But Moran? <laughs> okay. That's kind of funny. Okay, double kick you, confusion you, an extra die. Knock off. Drop the amulet coin. We'll get it back. Chip away. Ah, uh, it's a generic normal move at least. Better than Peck at this point. Don't need double team. Okay, Kurtar. Magnitude. Okay. Double kick it. I'd hate to see Magnazone and Raichu. Darn. Take it easy. Came from another region north of here called Sinnoh. By the way, you want a rematch? Is that why... They're making a joke about the fact that this NPC is named Dawn. Let me be your friend, then we can trade Pokemon. You hurt my poor, worldly Pokemon. I demand you heal them at the center. Make me. I always travel with Clefable. Demon. You pup, how dare you barge in. They gave this guy a traveling companion now. Used to be in here by himself. We chip it away. Zoomeroth leveling up. Growl... Growlan. Okay. We let Azumarok do it entirely. Oh, that's what it is. Yeah, Aqua Tail. You rude child. I wish to be left alone. Or if you stay, at least have the decency to have another battle with me. Then get out. Poo poo. I don't trust that. Trust that little gremlin at all. There we go. That's the heal spot. Funny story. Um, the heal spot on the SSN. Ooh, Meowth. That was something that like uh, Gen Two d did first with the SS Aqua, and then it was implemented into Fire Red Leaf Green. It was never in Gen One. And the reason I bring that up is because every time I play Gen 1, I always see a bunch of comments that are like, why isn't he going to the heal room? And it, like, it physically isn't there in Gen 1. And it gets annoying. There we go. Like, there's an extra room put in Fire and Leaf Green for, as a free heal spot there. Okay. Bonjour! I am Le Waiter on this ship. Would you, Monsieur, like to order anything? Oui. What would Monsieur like to order? Ah, Le Strong Silent type, I see. There we go. I did tweet about that once, posting the map layout. <gasps> Illegal gambling. Hey, wait a second. Aren't you wanted in, like, another region? People come to the SSN for all sorts of reasons. The food, the music, the atmosphere. But to me, it's all about the slot machines. And evading conviction for my war crimes. You're going to need a coin case if you want to play here. My favorite Pokemon is Shelder. It's sturdy and sophisticated, just like me. You wouldn't happen to have a Shelder. Trade it for Growlithe. Those will never have a Pokemon as delicious as Shelder. You want to eat it? This wonderful dinner is the perfect way to end our honeymoon. I could not imagine a more romantic dinner. I love you so much, darling. My favorite Pokemon is Drowsy. It's elegant, sophisticated, and well-mannered, just like me. 
you wouldn't happen to have a drowsy, would you? I was worried he was about to say, and it also preys on children. <laughs> no. I'm sorry, but the restaurant is full at the moment. You'll have to come back later. Hmm? I know you. We met back in Mount Moon. You're the kid I shared my fossils with. I never forgot the way you defeated me. So easily. It was humiliating. I needed my revenge, so I trained extra hard in case I ran into you again. And here you finally are. So I challenge you to a Pokemon battle. To make things interesting, I'll let you have one of the other these other fossils I found if you can beat me. What do you think? You're on. I like how this game is making it... Oh, this thing again. Making it kind of worth it to check all the NPCs. Like, even stuff like having the, the band in the background like that looks nice. There we go. Another th that was also a thing I liked about playing like Huda's game as well. The locations were pretty fun to explore. There we go. Ooh, that hurt. But that's fine. This will hurt more. All right, all right. I'll show you. I like that this sprite. I think it's the Heart Gold Soul Silver Collector or Pokemaniac. <laughs> Little Robo Pikachu. Hmm. You beat me again. All right. I have to keep my word. Which one of these fossils do you want? Root or Claw? Uh, I'll take Claw. I'll train harder. Next time you see me, my team will be unbeatable. Bong Bong, Pokemon Battle is all about rhythm. Being a musician is great. You get invited to all sorts of cool events. I teach you the move Hyper Voice. Hey, okay, that's not needed. Too bad. I tried to teach my Pokemon how to play the piano, but it didn't go well. Okay. Still wondering why there's just a wanted Team Plasma member playing the slots, but okay. Should probably go back to the heal spot. I don't actually know. Uh, does Let's Go also have the heal room? I would assume it does. There we go. I need to watch over the kid, but the motion of the ship is making me sick. I wanted to go explore the ship, but my mummy is seasick. Your mummy? You're from the Gallo region, son. Competing against the young keeps me youthful. There we go. Seachu! Oh, looks like a little friend. Kill it. Ooh. Oh, I missed, huh? Well then. We'll just have to do this. Did yellow have the heal room? Um, does it? I'm not sure. I actually might have to double check that. It might be. I don't think yellow version added something like that, though. But yellow's not normally the prime way I replay Gen 1. Don't think yellow has it. That would explain where some of the confusion comes from. Ah, uh, to feel young again. I did mention before, I think it was last episode, that Yellow Version did change a couple of, like, level-up moves to kind of balance the fact that you have to take Pikachu as your starter. Oh. My buddy Machoke is super strong. He loves to flex his muscles. Ship, she's a luxury liner for trainers. At every port, we hold parties with invited trainers. Which do you like, a strong or rare Pokemon? Growlpoke. Undershock. Just kill it. It's a sleepy little puppy. 23 slash. Uh, that would be fine. It's a regular hit at catch all hit the move I could always relearn slack off it only costs a thousand and now that I got the uh, I got the um, amulet coin relearning money's not gonna be an issue anyways Volta's probably Ratata and Voltorb oh that's actually pretty sick Voltorb and Ponyta there are like a lot of ways you could have done that but that one's pretty impressive I like it Flame wheel, but I'm winning. 
I must salute you. I'm gonna run back and heal again. Oh, wrong, wrong room. Number two. Pika King, level 23. I think I could put Mr. Melon up front. Mr. Melon rolls off the tongue better, in my opinion. I didn't pick up the TM from that guy after I beat him. Brick Break. That would be better than Rock Smash. Trade you one of my... Put one of my Pokemon for a rare Pokemon. Rock Smash would be obsolete compared to Brick Break. Oh, wait. Klefdos can learn Brick Break as well? That'd be good. Rock Smash, 4100, 75100, no contest. Kleptos. Pika King could have it over um, Double Kick as well. Draining Kiss, you don't need that anymore. Everybody gets to learn Brick Break. That's a vanilla TM in Fire Relief Green, I'm pretty sure. Uh, Pika King. Double kick, 3100 twice, 75100, hell yes. Beautiful. Everybody gets to break bricks now. I heard that there are Pokemon that can light up dark caves. Clefable's weird uh, physical TMs are actually going to benefit Nidoking, apparently. Ah, yes, I have seen some Pokemon ferry people across water. I forgot to bring my Growlithe's usual food on the ship. Thankfully, Growlithe doesn't mind seafood. Woof. Gyarados. Yeah, you're right. My bad. Sailor's Pride is at stake. I see Tentacool down there. Shelmer. <laughs> I like that. Kill it. Got a Super Potion. Us sailors have Pokemon, too. Regular star you. I need some more moves on Mr. Meleon here. Bolt cool. Oh, that's alright. Looks like it's in an egg still. <laughs> I like how the bottom pat part of Voltorb like, makes it look like a mouth there. It's giving me the most, hmm, look ever. Okay, it's still part poison, apparently. It float. Check out what I fished up. Looks like there's an, H uh, an HM, a key item there. Guldeen. Damn, I didn't realize it's already been two and a half hours. Time flies when you're having fun, Golkar. <laughs> the two useless fish together at last. Do a bit more of this, and then I'm gonna switch over to that Castlevania mod. Magicool. Oh, it looks like it's suffering. It looks like it's suffering. Good golly. Fisherman Dale, I'm all out. All out of what? Paralyzed heal. Just realized we got a lot of people here. Captain's Key. I guess I need that. Whenever I play a Pokemon mod or anything, we always do have a bit of a surge of viewers here. Okay. Let me just run by. Is that everything? I'm... Oh. That's where this is. Were you really invited? How's your Pokedex coming? I already caught 40 kinds. How? Different kinds are everywhere. Crawl around in grassy areas. Yeah, well, I got huge power slacking soon. Nidodo again. Should have healed first, but whatever. I can handle this. Can handle this. Stop spamming potions. 24. Warsaur. Damn, that name goes hard. So, grass water. Could just spam Thrash with Kleptos. Oh, it's cute. For such a powerful sounding name. Just 
Starbra. Like, uh, Staryu? With Abra? Jeez, Starmie and Alkazam sounds scary by Gen 1 standards. I'm confused, but I have Bite. I'll just let Azumarok do it. Oh, Kadabra. It's just Kadabra, but it has the... But it has the gem on its head, and the, the head shape is slightly close to, like, the Staryu thing. It's a really simple one. Nice. I hope that, um... I Dylan had huge trouble with that thing later encounters. Manicate. Okay. Oh, this thing. I hope that the Slack King version of this has a really cool sprite, because... As it stands right now, this thing is not good thumbnail material. Like, it, even its eyes are blurry. <laughs> the sprite scaling just makes it look weird. You're raising your Pokemon, right? There's a Cut Master on board, but he's just a seasick old man. But Cut is useful. I'm going to go now. You unlock the door. I had, so I had to find the key. Oh, I feel hideous. Rub, rub, rub. Wow, thanks. I feel much better. You want to see my cut technique? I could show you if I wasn't ill. I know. You can have this. Teach it. Uh, it does have a custom. All right. I look forward to seeing that whenever I finally get to it. Teach it to your Pokemon. You can see it cut anytime. The ship is staying in Vermilion City for a while still. Probably shouldn't have looked in there. All right, so does the ship not leave this time? It okay, looks like it doesn't. Good. Now that I've done that, there's the route over there, but we can also go back through Diglett's cave to check out that guy's, uh, that guy's tree guard in there. And also go to Pewter for the fossils. Let's do that. Going on a big adventure. Mr. Meleon. Close to 24. Nice. Hang on. Put you up front and magical leap your way to victory. If needed. Wanted to see what was over here if I could do it. See how worth it it is. Oh, I still have to teach someone cut. I can always replace the move later. I can just get rid of scratch on you, honestly. Imagine you see th this thing in your backyard just cutting down your trees, and then it makes eye contact with you. What do you do? Do you run? But that could just prolong the suffering. Ooh, you say hi, but what if it cuts you down? What if it kills? Whimper and lock the doors. Grab the gun. If you die, you die. But you could survive. You pray. A little bit more. Just a bit more. Alright. You did it! Thank you so much. Here's for all your hard work. Lemonade. What's this? You expected a bit more? Fine then, how about this? Cheers. Cheers allow you to cut trees without using a Pokemon. It's not much use to an old man like me, but I'm sure a young lad like you will find it useful. Okay, so it's like the pickaxe. I never have to teach cut again, then. Alright. Kind of figured that was what was gonna happen. Hang on, I need planks from Viridian City. Where the hell do I get those, though? I don't 
see stuff there. Well, I see stuff there. I don't know how to get to it still. There's just that like that. You looking for wooden planks? Sure, I got them, but I'm not handing them to you unless you beat me in a battle. I'll give it all I got. Okay. Got him. <laughs> I like how the fur becomes like... It's a... Uh, like little uh, pants or something there. Man chop. It's just wearing a manky head as a mask. 25. Play rough. Okay. Target attack sets. Jeez, do I... I don't get berry stab from it, but slash is stab. Um, I feel like I... At this stage, I don't really need fairy type, but I can always get it later if I need it. Dig choke. Oh god, oh, this is gonna be scary. <laughs> Alright, it's just rising from the ground. I'm gonna swap. Azumaroth is now, like, um, my highest level, and I still have the experience share on it. Sucker punch. Ooh, so sorry you failed. You're way better than I thought. You're good. Here's the wooden planks he asked for. Okay. Could probably take this off now. I really need a Thunderstone for Pika King. Um, once this egg hatches, depending on what it is probably put the, something fossil related new on the team. I feel like Kurtar is the one that needs the experience share now because it can't really fight things. It's a Larvitar and Curlia. It, just, it doesn't have the skills to fight. Here we go. Put Pika King up front. I wonder if using the old rod here would get anything rare. Now with that attitude, come on. Could just be a Magikarp. Come on. What is this, Gen 4 fishing rod luck? I imagine Doug Trio would lead to a lot of uh, wacky evolution combinations. And there are some evolutions that I can imagine having, like, a similar theme that would look cool together. Like, what about Dodrio and Hydragon? Or Hydragon, as you want to call it. That could be cool. Doug Trio and Dodrio. True. So, like, is there nothing here, or what? Because <laughs> I'm not finding a single thing biting. Nothing else over here to do. Cut tree is just a shortcut. More berries here. I can't remember. Was there something I could cut on Route 1? I kind of want to check that. No, I don't think there was a side path or anything over there. Anyways, I got my planks. Let's go to Pewter. Shove it down. Hey. Did I need stones from this? You're like, oh, I, okay, this is where I do this. You're looking for some bricks? Sure, I got them and I'll hand them over to you. All right, we'll just battle. And let's stop by. <laughs> Man, dude. I just find that kind of funny. Nice. Sturdy. Man, dude, you need cut to get to the back of the Pewter City thing. Beeler. That goes kind of hard. Not gonna lie. Ooh, okay, it's like Rock Bug.
wouldn't it be fine to just use Water Pulse on it? And use Pursuit on me. I got killed by Pursuit. Nice. 21, Kleptos. You're better than I expected. You got bricks. Just carry them in my back pocket. Hi, do you like fossils? Some days ago, some of our scientists discovered fossilized resin in Viridian Forest that might contain the DNA of a prehistoric Pokemon. But when I went back to the excavating team, the site had been completely taken over by a beedrill's nest and it's impossible to go anywhere near it. I see you're a trainer, so you could please help me get rid of the beedrills. Great, meet me in Viridian Forest. I'll wait for you near the place where we found the amber. Shh, I made a cool move. It can cause all kinds of fun. Called Metronome. Want me to teach it to your Pokemon? No one can learn it. Come back if you want it. We're not just a museum. We also do lots of research on fossils. We have a machine that can revive prehistoric Pokemon from fossils. The machine isn't operational. Okay. Can't do that right now, then. Oopsie. Wrong thing. I don't want to put Metronome on mime. Metronome is fun for, like, five minutes. There we go. They said, yeah, they were all unable. Didn't it? Let's take a look at this. Forests are so comfy looking. You'd love to see it. Oh, hey, PP up. Save that for the low PP moves. It's a Wii Hoot. Kill it. It's level three. It came right at me. Let's find that aid. A catter hoot. What is with all these hoots? Late at night. There she is. This must be the cut thing I was thinking of, not Route 1. There you are. The amber is just up ahead. I'm not coming with you. Too scared of the bee drill. Okay, if that's the case, I should put Mr. Melon Friend up front. I kind of want to hatch this egg before I end the episode. Yeah, let's do this quest and hatch the egg, and then we'll just kind of call it. Okay. Oh, jeez. Immediately into it, huh? Okay, it's double. Only level 20. No big deal. Pika King leveled up. Okay, get them all. Oops, wrong thing. Not the bees! There's too many bees everywhere. Just confusion. Thundershock it. Bada bang and bada boom! You did it! You got rid of the bee drill. Now let's go check out that amber. Wow, there's even more amber than I remembered. Come with me. We'll have it examined at the lab. I finished the preliminary analysis on the old amber we discovered. The good news is that it does contain the DNA of a rare prehistoric Pokemon. Unfortunately, our equipment here at the museum isn't sophisticated enough to revive it. The only laboratory that has a fossil regenerating machine that is sophisticated enough to extract DNA from amber is on Cinnabar. It's a long way from here, but please take this amber sample and bring it to the scientists. Okay. The regular reviving machine doesn't appear to be working very well either. Not just museum, we have blah, blah, but it's not operational. Alright, so yeah, I just I can't do it even on the inside here. Alright, no fossil mons. So let's hatch this egg and then let's just fuse a couple Pokemon. And we'll call it a session here. I'm getting uh, getting near the three hour mark anyway. Let's head back to Vermilion first. <laughs> oh 
Okay, game. <laughs> Alright. Yo, bro. Every individual part of the Doug Drio has a diglet popping out of its head. That's funny. Who do you think should be the thumbnail mon for this one? Probably the clef- uh, the cleftos? I'm feeling like that one would fit pretty well. As much as I want to advertise this abomination, uh, it looks so terrible as it is. Don't talk to me or my son or me or my son or me and my son again. The only other thumbnail mon was just, uh, my Mander. Peak King also fits. There's so many fusions, you gotta put one in there. <laughs> Kleftos works well enough. It's, uh... Creepy, alright. The Rat King. Yeah. Rat King's also one. Oh, Look at that. Is that another one? What are you doing here? I've never won before. Wait, so you're telling me for the Gambler sprite, they just use the... One of the sages from Gen 5. That's a weird decision. Jiggly orb. <laughs> it looks so unhappy. Well, I'm kind of trying to have a format of the thumbnail where it's uh, kind of just one abomination front and center with kind of this, like, kind of like uh, silhouettes of the others around it. Kind of worked pretty well. Just became a trainer, but I think I I can win. Let's fight some peeps while we can. Should check the radar here while I'm at it, too. I'm paralyzed. Marino. Mm, I don't know what that is. Send in the Kleptos. <laughs> Oh, that. Hit it with Thrash. This thing and its freaking power is good. My Pokemon couldn't. A lot of gamblers out here. The music also stopped. Oh, it's re okay, it was refreshing. Drowsy Mareep's here. Oh, that'd be a good one to catch for next time. Uh, hang on. If I could catch it right now, I could try fusing it with something before we end the episode. Yeah, let's get in the grass and just do this. <laughs> Spearcy. <laughs> I hate it. There it is, the regular fudge dipped one. Seeing some Jotoma in this episode, but no Teddy Ursas. It's a crime there aren't more teddy bears. Come on, Mareep. I demand Mareeps. There we go. No, I ain't fine. No Teddy Ursas right now. Episode's wrapping up very shortly. I just want to see if I can catch him a Mareep right quick. Hurtar, okay. Draining Kiss, nope. It's on the radar silhouette, so... Gotta be around here somewhere. I hope it's not a 1%. Come on. Eakins. One percent counters are silly. Someone who uh, did a few Pokedex playthroughs, oh my god, trying to find some of those one percents was annoying as hell. Where is she? It's not highlighted on the radar menu. 
I'm pretty sure Mareep isn't a radar mon here. No, it's not highlighted. I need to find Mareep before I can find the radar mon. There we go. Just part of the regular encounter table. The rare ones have like a green white orb around them on that menu. Damn, I cannot find it right now, huh? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna catch this drowsy and I'm gonna trade it to the guy in the ship. I don't I'm not even sure what he was gonna give me, to be honest. Oh, why the heck not? Shaking grass can have rare things. Get a seal from that. Oops. Silly me. Maybe this will help. Another fudge dip friend. The lady next to him wanted a shelter. I don't know who wanted an Ekans. Darn. What is this luck? The fan club? Yeah, someone was willing to trade their Voltorb. Nothing happened. Oops, all drowsy. Oops, all drowsy. So since you can't unfuse a Pokemon and obtained in a trade, what if half of the Pokemon for the materials was in a trade? Can you unfuse it when you fuse it? I don't even know. <sighs> Radar is only getting me drowsy. That works? Okay, good. There was a PC on here, I think. Let's just go get a free seal. There we go. Booted up the PC. That egg has still not hatched, despite everything. Oh, there, there we go. All I had to do was complain a little bit. Iggly, Buff, and Natu. <laughs> okay. I don't... You know, I'll take the Natu half of it. Maybe that'll be fun to put with something. Uh, What about that with the Yanma? Drowsy. Trade for a seal. Here you go. Hey, take care of Leonard. Take a look at it. Calm nature. Has thick fat. Lowers attack with its nature. Iggly too. Alright, let's go in here. Let's move some stuff around here. First... Oops, wrong thing. Unfuse... DNA splicer. Unfusing. There we go. Take a look at the buff. Normal fairy, hasty, cute charm. Sassy nature. No speed. Early bird. Okay. Now, in the case of you... Level 1, because they hatch from an egg, of course. I also kind of want to unfuse these. Do this. What about Kadabra and Yanma? Maybe that could be something silly. Extra fast and extra special. Just use, um... Kadabra head and Yanma body. Hang on, wouldn't Kad Alakazam be faster than Yen Mega anyway? That's speed boost though, anyway, but. Speed boost special attacker. Yeah, you'd be 
faster anyway, so that wouldn't be a best idea. Hmm, kind of hard, because you want Kadabra and Alakazam's speed and their special attack, but you gotta pick one or the other, so you need something to complement it. Let's just view his stuff for fun, why don't we? It's gonna average the level out, because it's level 1, though, but rematches make it easy to do that. How about not to and seal? Okay, this one has a... This one has a unique sprite. There's the word I'm looking for. Just to see stuff for fun. Not necessarily to use it for the team. We can always unfuse stuff and mess around with them later. <laughs> it, uh, sprite by Knuckles 3 and Knuckles. Got a C2. That one looks cute. Tiny lion Pokemon. I'm pretty sure it is not a lion. I know it's like because, uh... Sea Lion. Heal status, problem with raining, synchronize. I don't think it needs attack, so yeah, calm's better. Growl, water sport, icy wind. There you go. It's a neat looking sprite. I got one more DNA splicer, I suppose for fun. Hmm, what about Sandshrew Head, Yanma Body? Then it wouldn't have no special attack whatsoever, huh? Ah, uh, it could just be a fur fun fusion. Alright, just to see what it looks like. For fun. Can always undo it later. Because I feel like something could be really good with Yan Mega later. <laughs> oh yeah, that looks cool. From Toothed Mammal. Yanshru. That that name rolls off the tongue. Not everything has to be chosen just for, uh, it just to be used on the team. We can just look at stuff for fun. There's like a hundred, uh, quite literally almost 200,000 combinations. I'm growing every day. It's high and it's turned tough and solid. It's just have to live in the desert. Compound eyes. Oh, I don't get to keep speed boost? Uh-oh. Great. It might- speed boost might be gone forever now. Oh well. Serious or serious? Can't really be helped. Abilities are a bit glitchy with how they're implemented sometimes, from what I understand. Oh well, that's fine. It's funny because... The strongest one we got is absolutely, like, one of the ugliest sprites I got, because it's just an auto-generated mess. I could also cheese speed boost by fusing it the other way first, and then reversing it. Okay, so I could fix that with a little bit of money. So, progress today. I did just about everything around Vermilion. There's more stuff to do to the right, and then I can beat the gym next time. Um, yeah, I'd say I made good progress. This is the team of Pokemon I'm mainly using right now. I cannot wait to see these guys all evolve. I can't wait to see this thing full- <laughs> but Like, this this is so stupid, man. Double attack power, and I'm gonna have Slack King's attack. And this thing will look cool when I can evolve it as well, but boy, is it gonna take a while. There we go. Oh, right. I may as well drop off the bricks and the uh, the lumber before I forget. Good idea. Okay. Yep, looks like I'm about to hit the three-hour mark. I thought I was going to go a little bit shorter, but it's fine. Right, Voltorb. Wait. Oh, that's that Cerulean. No, the person who won it wasn't at the hotel. Uh... Oh, right, yeah, yeah, duh, duh. I totally forgot it was this guy. Now I'll be able to resume construction. I'll give you this rocky helmet. Not bad. All right, perfect. So let's go ahead and make a save on both files. Save to file B. File A, 4 hours, 44 minutes. Not feel like that. Saved on file A. Do it again. Wasn't looking. 
Okay, we're gonna get ready to switch games here on Twitch, but if you're watching on YouTube, I hope this has been a comfy little series to watch so far. Hopefully, I'll get a chance to do some more of it during the week or next weekend, but uh, for YouTube, have a good night. Bye-bye.